Hello and welcome to our video series on the Open EMR database. Today's video will be about how to set up the calendar for your physicians, how to make an appointment, and how to look at a physician schedule to schedule a future appointment for a patient. So to begin, uh, we would come over here to calendar and uh, we would hit add. Uh, we would then click on provider, not patient, and we would select in office because we need to define uh, for the calendar when the computer, I'm sorry, when the physician starts working and when the physician's days end to include uh, at what time during the day the physician will take lunch. So we have already uh, selected in office, let's say the good doctor comes in at 9 a.m. Um, here's the doctor from the drop down. We can select uh, the clinic, which is the world's best clinic. If we had multiple clinics, we'd hit the drop down, select the clinic, and then we would select the doctor. Uh, Dr. John is the uh, physician we've selected. If I had 10 doctors, I could select any one of the 10 physicians. Now, we're gonna say that this schedule repeats every day, and because the schedule doesn't like to do, the scheduler doesn't like to do too many changes, we'll say the schedule will continue on for the next two years. So we're going to save that, and Open EMR will um, will put that um, in our uh, in our calendar. Now, let's hit uh, let's click on the 30th, and I apologize. So it's actually the 29th, which is Monday. So we'll we'll repeat that process. Uh, we'll click on provider in office, starts at nine, repeats every day, Dr. John, world's best clinic, um, and for continuity's sake, we'll again send that out two years, and here we go. So now we've defined for the system when the doctor will start work uh, for the next um, two years. Now, you'll notice that this includes Saturday and Sunday because at uh, medical practices and clinics where there are multiple doctors, uh, there's a schedule. Some doctors work on the weekends, although that's usually relegated to a mid-level provider like a, a nurse practitioner or a physician assistant. Sometimes phys physicians uh, do have to pull weekend duty. So they might have uh, Tuesday and Wednesday off and they might be working um, Saturday and Sunday. So uh, the EMR database schedules them out for a full seven days each week in the event that, that that's a possibility. So if we come back and we click Add, we click on provider, we say the doctor will be out of the office, and most doctors leave about 4.30 or 5 o'clock. Uh, this physician, we say, will leave at 5. We change the time to p.m., and we want this to repeat every day, again, for continuity's sake, for the next two years. So we'll click Save, and you'll see here where the, the good doctor leaves uh, on the dot at five o'clock every day. Now, being a good doctor uh, and, and needing nutrition to sustain the engine, uh, let's, let's give the doctor an hour for lunch. Back to provider. The drop down will select lunch and we'll say he likes to take his lunch a little early. So let's say he likes to go out at 11.30 and you'll see the default is for 60 minutes, and uh, that is changed elsewhere, but that's the subject of another video. So for continuity's sake, um, we'll move forward two years, we'll save it, and lo and behold, the good doctor has lunch scheduled. Now, how do we make a patient appointment? So let's say um, it's 10 o'clock, um, we need an office visit. Um, the office visit actually uh, won't be until tomorrow uh, at, at the world's best clinic with Dr. John. This is, apologies, this is um, a scheduled patient. Um, we need the patient name, apologies, that's what I'm looking for, patient name. Here we go, patient select. So. This screen will come up and we type in all or part of a patient's name. We hit return and lo and behold, there's Rick Ross. We click on Rick and the appointment time is for nine o'clock 
because he still wants to go into work after the appointment uh, and we'll click save. So here's Rick Ross. The appointment is for nine o'clock. Now Rick is there but uh, his medical history isn't. So if I clicked on Rick, double clicked on Rick, in addition to this screen you'd, you'd have a bigger screen um, and you would be provided more of the patient's history um, to include the time of the visit and then you could come over here to say status and say that he had arrived when he comes in. And that would trigger an encounter screen that would let the physician go into his record, understand that he's here, and input his progress notes. So let's say that uh, somebody calls, today's Monday, somebody calls you at, um, at 10 o'clock and they want Dr. John, but um, you know they're, they want to come in and see Dr. John as early as possible, and they want you to find his available uh, time slots for the next three days. So you would come down here and click Find Available, and then that's set for seven days. You can change that to three days, and then you could run a search and then you could select a time in any one of the next three days that Dr. John would be available um, and you could schedule the appointment that way. So I'm going to cancel this. So in this video we've covered how to use the calendar, how to set the calendar up for your physicians, how to schedule an appointment for a patient on the calendar, and then we explored how to uh, look at a physician's calendar to find available slots over the next three, five, seven days uh, for patient convenience and for physician convenience. We hope uh, you've enjoyed the video and uh, we hope it was, uh, it was an easy, uh, easily understood and, um, and straight to the point. We want to thank you for taking the time uh, to listen and uh, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you.